Hey everybody, how's it going today? I am Captain Energy and today I want to show you a real quick tip on making combinators. Since I made my 909 combinator last week for 909 day, uh, I ran into a problem where buttons, for example, this one right here, uh, I wanted to be able to turn on effects and turn them off. And when they were on, I wanted them to show up as with the light on. And when they were off, I wanted them to look like this, off. However, uh, the way that the effects work in Reason is that bypass, right down here, which is effectively off, it, it bypasses the effect, no, nothing goes through it, shows up as on. And on shows up as off. So I ran into that as a problem, and I uh, figured out how to get around it, and that's what I'm here to show you real quick. If I click my, my effect, you'll see this is what I've got set up right here, one and two. Position one is the middle, uh, zero is off, and two is bypass in this case, okay? So it's going between one and two, but I want it to go, basically uh, consider two to be off and one to be on. In Reason 11, you could put negative numbers in, and I didn't know how that was going to work here, but apparently all you've got to do is grab this slider and drag it until you are backwards. If it's white, that will make it negative numbers. So now you drag it so it's white, drag it back up, as I just did here, to seg segment 1 and 2, and now when I click this button on and off, off is on bypass, on is now on. Pretty cool, right? The same applies to knobs. So for example, if I wanted to take this knob here, okay, and I want to add that to, I'm going to just drop it to control one. It doesn't really matter which one I'm using here for this. But, uh, and you'll see as I turn this, you'll see the noise knob going up and down. If I wanted to, Along with being able to uh, change the values, the maximum and minimum values, I could say that, for example, that the full distance of the knob can only do this much of the sound. See what I'm saying? If I go all the way down and go all the way up, you'll see that it doesn't have a lot of, it's a lot more precise here. It doesn't fully uh, travel the full distance the knob can go. It only travels as a set segmented distance. So that's kind of nice. You can control things a little better that way. But now say, for example, I wanted noise to go up when oscillator 2 went down. Okay, I want oscillator 2 to turn down and noise to go up. I'm going to right click this one. I'm going to add it to the same control in this case. Control 1, Control 1. It's got both of them. And now when I turn Control 1, you'll see, pay attention to oscillator uh, 2 right here that and and I put these right next to each other just so you could easily see the, them you know what I mean that's why they're there I'm gonna go up I'm gonna go all the way down and that one goes all the way down and then it goes all the way up even though the other one only goes part of the way however maybe I want uh, like the oscillator to not only work within this area but I want it to be so I want it to only affect a smaller area, but I want it to be backwards. So more noise equals less oscillator. Less noise equals more oscillator. All I've got to do is the same trick that I used for the switches. Just drag this so that it's white. So I cross over the other margin that I had set here. And, uh, and now when I turn this knob, pay attention oscillator and noise right down here, these knobs. As I go down, Oscillator goes up, oscillator two goes up, and noise goes down. As I go up, noise goes up, and oscillator two goes down. These are a couple little tricks that you can use to create your own combinators in Reason. I hope that that explains how that works pretty well. I was pretty excited to figure that out because it let me fix my 909 so that it now properly represents uh, the on and off of the um, effects in the on that unit. And it's going to help me make other combinators later. Also, um, I'm going to be doing a deeper dive into combinator creation. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click alerts so you'll know when that drops. And if it's something you're interested in, leave me a comment so I know that I'm kind of heading down the right path here for you guys. 
And don't forget to like the video so this can get out there and more people can see it. And I can hopefully grow the channel a little more and it will be excellent for all of us because more people, more suggestions, more videos. I hope that was helpful to all of you. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments below. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.